we did what we called a soft opening uh, at, at Washington Park, which is just like like three doors away from my house. So we wheeled it across the street, and we didn't advertise at all. The city had it on their schedule, a city park, but we didn't want to. Um, we want to see how things went, you know. We were laughing. Oh, it's like a carnival or a circus or whatever or a concert. And then we're every two weeks. So then we did Kiwanis Medhow Park. And the Parque Padrinos helped us with that. They were some volunteers and then my assistants. And uh, anyway, that was 50 plus people too. So the art cart, the idea came to myself and my partner girlfriend, Sandra. We were in New York City and uh, two years ago in May. And we were, I wanted to go see the New York Public Library because it's a gorgeous architectural wonder. And here was this art cart. It was a nice day sitting out, four tables, all free art materials. And she offhandedly said, you know, you ought to do this in Wenatchee. They're done all over the country, really, I found. But, so I, I bounced the idea off the, uh, the Pibus Foundation, the art committee. They said, well, go for it, you know. It's, and then I talked to Dave Erickson at the city. The city's been phenomenal at the Parks Department. So uh, we made up a schedule. They started, and they've done things like uh, let us reserve all the covered areas for free. Getting it built, a student, uh, he really deserves mention, Trace Carroll. He's a student at Pinnacles Prep, the charter school. I worked with him on the idea, and he literally sketched out this 3D idea. And then I took it to a master woodworker here in the valley, Barry, Barry Barnes. He's lived here forever. He's now retired. He donated so much time and labor engineering it. So literally, it's put together with wooden pins, a lot of it, and bolts. I can fit it in an SUV if I have to and take it apart. We're, we've been not doing that, luckily. We've been sliding in a bit in a pickup, you know, so. So a lot of, a lot of moving parts. Um, it's been really magical in terms of the response from the community. The lesson is about a five minute lesson I introduce that can be, and Claire, my daughter, has been trained in it, Keisha, and, uh, and it's just a warm up exercise, whether it's a kindergarten age kid or an adult, and they can, um, they just learn three, six techniques I demonstrate, and then I just tell them, I go, it's the weather's so good, and it's really good quality watercolor paper they can uh, then let them dry in a few minutes flip it over and do their own thing i really hope it travels home the parents are encouraged to do art with their kids many of the parents are already encouraging that but i know firsthand uh, you know i had teachers that encouraged me from the second grade and uh, you know i wanted to be an artist i wanted to have an art career so um, that's not so important as much as encouraging the creativity